so before we ever even there ever even really existed a C8R race car, there was a chassis at some point, obviously, but um, never a full race car. And we were already driving iterations of what the race car is now um, in our in our simulator that that that, uh, that Chevy has in Charlotte. So um, the simulator has been a huge part of this car's development process um, and continues to be a big part of it as well. So um, it's something that the team is constantly improving. So uh, even with C7, we were after race events would oftentimes correlate changes that we would make on, on race events, uh, go back through and run those same changes again in, in the simulator afterwards to see if everything correlates as we expected and allowed those guys, the engineering team to um, continue to improve both the um, chassis model and also tire model as well. So, um, yes, definitely. The simulator is, has been um, and continues to be a pretty big, uh, big part of um, just making the most use of uh, the track time that, that we do get in real life um, and uh, sort of speeds up the development process, I'd say, of, of get, taking this car from something that's brand new um, and accelerating that, that process to get it uh, race ready and, and fast and um, just learning as much as we possibly can in a, in a, in a short amount of time. So uh, as you said, I think the, the situation, uh, the COVID situation limited, uh, we, we weren't allowed to basically test on the, on the simulator for a number of months there, but um, before we were allowed to go back on the racetrack, we could get back on the simulator. So it's good for us as drivers and the engineers uh, to have that, that test or two where, uh, able to kind of get back in the car and get, uh, get everything kind of going again.